Welcome everybody to another episode of Extra Time here. I want to say uh, thank you everybody for uh, the other episodes. It is fantastic, it is a good feeling, it is a fantastic thing, and I hope you guys keep enjoying this. One big thing I wanted to say on this episode is uh, what is going on with Tottenham for the season. So, I'm hearing some murmurs uh, about what is what possibly could be happening there. Um, but this is what we talked about with, with Conte coming in. Uh, if his teams, his teams can be amazing, amazingly good, but his teams are what they say they are. They go in, they play their style, and he doesn't change it that much. And I would say with Tottenham, the biggest thing with them is are they going to be the big make it or break it moments? Now, I was thinking about doing this video at the end of the week and making it one of my teams of the real or fake, but I said to myself that I could probably do that, but I still, I don't, I'm not sure on that. I still, I still don't know. I will say this, Tottenham is one of those teams that can go on a run of five straight games, but that they can go on a run of like three straight losses, and especially this week. You had a Tottenham team come in and almost lose to Bournemouth. I would, t I literally was watching a Newcastle game. I had the standings, live standing readings on my other monitor. And I'm watching it and looking and going, Tottenham is losing 2 nothing to Bournemouth. What the heck is going on? And other than that, I would say that right there, that right there basically said that he is going to keep his job until at least the end of the season now I am getting murmurs I have checked uh, I checked my my sources I guess I guess uh, other people can find the same sources but um, my sources and they're basically telling me that there's a contract with him and it, it'll be at the end of the year um, now with that they're like oh will he sign before the World Cup will he sign during the World Cup will he sign at the end of the summer will he sign right before the, the season begins, right before his contract runs out, all that. No, what's going to happen with Conte is I, I'm, and I'm almost going to verbatim, ver verbatim this. If Conte slips too far down in the standings, I will say eighth, maybe, if he somehow slips too far, does not go to Europe, I will say at that point, that is when he's going to decide not to sign. I will even, I will even say that there's a 30% chance he even leaves Tottenham. But I will say that, I will say, He'll go in, he'll do his Tottenham thing, and oh, everybody's excited. Maybe he beats one of the big teams to help to help Newcastle or to help uh, some of the other Man City get up there or whatever. But I think one of the big things that's going to happen is he's going to go in, and if he slips too low, I'll say maybe even seventh, He'll, he'll, he won't sign that new contract. Now, if he stays up in third, second place, that sort of thing, of course he's going to sign again. He's going. He's going to. He's going to go to the Champions League. But I think he wants to leave. His, and he's got. The thing is, he's got clout to do it. So, I will say, do not be surprised if by the end of the season you see Conte gone by April. I would not be surprised on that. That's my two cents. That's my extra time. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, click the like, uh, the like button on this video if you liked it you guys want more or if you guys have more comments on what teams you guys think extra time should be more of or what I should talk about more on each team let me know in the comments below we'll talk to you guys next time thank you again